Hello guys and my valued viewers welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before, big news for Dinar just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Dinar news, hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. In recent times, Iraq has been witnessing significant developments related to its economy particularly with the potential introduction of the long-discussed policy of deleting the zeros from the Iraqi currency. This refers to a re-denomination plan, which has been proposed for years but rarely spoken of openly by officials. However, with the current governor of the Central Bank of Iraq CBI, al Alak, now addressing this issue directly, it marks a shift in the way this topic is being handled publicly. This move could signify a step towards improving the value of the Iraqi dinar and stabilizing the country's economy, which has long been impacted by inflation and the lingering effects of war and sanctions. Another crucial development is the progress surrounding the Hydrocarbon Law HCL, a piece of legislation that has been a focal point of tension between the central government in Baghdad and the Kurdistan regional government KRG in the north. The HCL is important because it governs the distribution of revenues from Iraq's oil wealth, a critical issue in a country where oil exports make up a large portion of the national income. Recently, there has been increased movement in resolving HCL-related matters, which suggests that long-standing disputes over oil revenue sharing might be nearing a resolution. One piece of news that points to this progress is the announcement of the launch of salary financing for employees which was expected to occur today. This development could be tied to the HCL as it indicates that revenue, potentially from oil exports, is being allocated to pay the wages of government workers. Alongside this, a significant event took place when the Kurdistan region deposited nearly 100 billion Iraqi dinars from its non-oil revenues into the Baghdad treasury. This act shows a level of cooperation and integration between the KRG and the federal government which would likely not occur unless both parties had reached a level of agreement over the distribution of oil revenues, signaling that the HCL might be nearing completion. All these events combined paint a picture of Iraq moving toward a more stable and unified approach to managing its resources and finances. The progress on the HCL in particular is crucial because it represents a step toward resolving internal divisions over oil, which have historically caused tension. The open discussion about deleting the zeros from the currency suggests that Iraq is also looking at broader economic reforms to strengthen its currency and economy. These developments are part of a larger effort by the Iraqi government to stabilize the economy and ensure fair distribution of wealth across the country. The resolution of these issues could lead to a more prosperous and stable Iraq, and an official announcement on the progress of the HCL could come at any time which would be a monumental step forward for the country.